Hi, this is Dave Aquino with MicroQuant, and this is the free video for Friday, April 10th, 2015. I am watching the NASDAQ QQQs uh, for a potential swing trade here uh, within the next week to week and a half. Now, it, usually it seems uh, that we are almost always moving higher in the NASDAQ, but what we actually have over the past couple of months is a right now descending trend line across the tops of these bars. Now, the natural resistance point currently on this descending trend line is right around uh, 108.85. Now, we are still falling. And uh, by the time we get up there over the next couple of days, we could actually be in the 108 and a half level. Now, what I will do, you can see we are significantly over, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, moderately overvalued. See the yellow bar? Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean a reversal, but what it could mean is a potential area in which we may start to pull back from. Now, keep in mind, this is a daily chart. And when it comes and hits this ascending trend line, or at least approaches it, what we have to watch for is a lower time frame, a potential reversal. So as we approach this trend line, or maybe even exceed it, I will be looking for a reversal pattern, um, maybe a, a golden doji, maybe a double top bearish divergence, or a head and shoulder pattern, on the 60 minute chart okay it will show up on the 60 minute chart before we do here now there is a slight possibility that any time that we are moderately overvalued there is a chance that we may get a reversal at that point we do not have to hit this descending trend line but that is the signal that i will be watching it may be a market occurring event it may just be general weakness but that is what i'm going to be watching a potential pullback in the qqqs if we um we start to get that pullback i'll evaluate it and report at that time but a reasonable expectation if we pull back from here is the 50-day EMA, which is currently at, sitting around 106, and then this previous 50% retracement at 104 and one third. So again, watch for that continuation move higher, but look for a potential turn, especially if momentum stays weak on the daily. Okay, so take that and keep an eye on the hourly chart.